Hello and welcome, I'm Arumba. thank you for joining me. Let's play some more Factorio with Bob's Mods and Angel's Ores. Uh, even though we still have this like really, really bad iron production situation right now, uh, before we dive into trying to make more, I want robots so that I can like move stuff around. So we already have a RoboPort in my inventory. That's handy. Let's get rid of some of these things that I've kind of collected while working on all this stuff. Like various like transistors and batteries and all kinds of junk. Um, the sulfur, the... That thing can go there. Got ferric chloride canisters, which, uh, were used here. That's not full yet, so that's good. Um... Got a bunch of steel. Just throw half the steel back into my, my generic storage chest. There's our one RoboPort. So, we want to make, um, Construction Robot Tool Mark 1. So it just needs steel. And steel. I do want this to be expandable, so we'll go um, just two for now. You're going to make the construction robot tool mark one. You're going to make steel gear wheels for them. Why am I not going to bust the steel gear wheels? I don't know. Because for right now it doesn't seem to make sense to me. We need steel. Input, output. Steel comes in. You grab the steel. You make the, uh... The other thing there. We could turn this into a hybrid line just by only allowing the steel to get onto one side, making you near handed. So we'll bring the steel up here. Like that. Steel is pretty close. Bye. Is it not? Wow. Where's the steel? Ah, here it is. This is my steel right here. Okay, so steel comes in, it stays on the left. You output on the right in near inside. That gives you the two components that you need. There's your input, there's your output. And we've got construction robot tool mark ones. We need two steer gear wheels per per one. You guys already have a crafting speed of 1.25. Um, let's start with the input. We can produce one steer gear wheel per half second times 1.25 crafting speed. That's 2.5 gear wheels per second. That is our raw. And these machines are consuming two per one second with a crafting speed of 1.25. They're each consuming 2.5. So it's a one-to-one -one ratio. We've got to do more of this or just get rid of you. I think we just get rid of the second machine right now. I don't want to go crazy, crazy overboard on robots anyway. Let's kind of mirror this setup. Or even better. Assuming that these guys are the same. They are. We could just make both of them and then have them on the same belt. Okay, and we'll put them into a box for now. Uh, this is kind of the issue, is uh, if I want to do a circuit network condition on this guy, and he somehow manages to pick up the wrong item. Let 
Yeah, I kind of don't like this. Hack Splitter is actually kind of messing things up there. Okay, again, you're nearsighted. Ah, shoot. What have I done? Where in the heck are these things? There they are. Okay, we grab those guys up. And to make the actual robots themselves, we need what? Got the robot tool, now we need the logistic robot brain. The brains. You're gonna make brains. Delicious robot brains. You'll make uh, constructions on the left. Mm, doing this is so silly. I don't like this anymore. I've changed my mind. It takes up too much space. You're the logistic robot brain, or construction robot brain. You have three inputs, lots of basic electronic components, which we've already kind of figured out are easier to make locally. Um, and a few transistors. I think we bring the transistors and the circuit boards up. Maybe even, yeah, so two, and then we bring up the hybrid line for local transistor production. We could do something like... Basic electronic component production there and there. You would be the other type of robot. So the logistic brain. So this would be the hybrid line then for the thing there. already got both of them down here. I just did them here. Hmm.
I haven't used coal in a long time. I'm going to go ahead and come into the top lane. We're just a pure hybrid line right now. If we need to bring the coal down later, oops. But what I want to do then is I want to maintain both. I want to have like all three. So I need some carbon. Guess we do long underground belt and just make it work. Now we have our mixed line for any future purposes. And maybe this is a mistake again. Maybe I don't need to even worry about the throughput on that thing. Maybe we'll always want to have those things together. I could go look it up and see. But that gets those done. I'm going to bring, it, bring up transistors with circuit boards. Probably another similar situation here where the transport, uh, the... Uh, these ones I did not do. I did the transistors separate because the circuit boards were far fewer. This one's closer to even though, so... It's close-ish to even. Making just a few robots is not gonna consume everything, though. Okay, alright, so here... I could run far less belt if I just did the, the mix down here. I've kind of been doing a lot of these up here this way. Look at, look at all these underground belt going kind of crazy. But, the more I think about it, if the resources are nearby on the bus, it makes more sense to just make the merge down there. Less belt, which should theoretically keep our FPS high or longer. Never mind, there's no reason to bring the sulfuric acid further down right now. Okay, that's these guys. Just your input, your inputs. Waiting on transistors, they're coming. Once you've made these things, where do we put them? I guess over here? Okay, we're making brains, we're making these things. I don't know that we want to bust these. One thing I could do, how cool would it be, actually, if we did do a hybrid line on the bus? Why, why would we want to bust robot bits? That doesn't make sense, does it? But we could put the logistic robot brain on one side of a belt and the logistic robot tool on the other side of the belt. Or we could just not, you know, just try to make all the crafting happen, like, in one centralized area. The thing is, I know eventually I'm going to want to upgrade all the robots, and we're going to need to have, like, a way that it can take in the old robots and take pump out the new robots. Just finished uh, Slag Processing 2 and Water Treatment 2 with Thermal Water Extraction. Cool. Um, what does Slag Extraction 2 give us? Or Slag Processing 2? Right, this is the one that's going to give us uh, the ability, we can take Mineral Sludge now, and we can make alum Aluminum 
aluminium, cobalt, and zinc. We can also use the mineral sludge to make those things. Titan, tit is it titaninium? Titaninium, not titanium, but, but titaninium, apparently. And then we can do uh, mineral sludge into tungsten and gold. So we can basically use the mineral sludge to make all this stuff now, which is pretty cool. So we have a better filter available. We have slurry ceramic filtering. I don't know. We'll, we'll figure this stuff out soon. We got to work on processing, do the Angels of Wars things for a bit. But uh, for now, I just want to get some robots up in the air, which is going to require us to actually make some engines now for the first time in forever. Which is going to require lubricant, which I haven't made any of, and it is not on the bus in any way, shape, or form. This, this build out is um, fortunately quite simple. Let's do just four things making regular engines. Input side. Output side. So... I don't have pipe on the bus, but we do have the other two. But if I don't... I mean, I'd have to run iron up to make it happen. All right, that can be done. You'll make the iron pipe. You'll run iron just to there. You will become the iron pump, iron pipe out. And then here's where we're going to mix the steel and the gear wheels. Our steel is like really far down there. I also have a distinct shortage of it now. iron pipe so that's everything and right here we'll just do the other one engine units right from adjacent to it. Basic electronic boards need to come up here. So either are none, or I'm just not seeing them. Those are regular boards. That's, that's, there they are. They're tons. Good. All this just to get robots. Robots in 16 hours. Yay! Bob's mods with angels oars is tough. Okay, so that, and then the lubricant is the only other piece to the puzzle. Where we're gonna do a pump. One of these guys right here.
He will empty lubricant barrels. So this needs to be lubricant barrels. And then the next step after that is one more over here. To make the flying robot frame mark ones. Where we're gonna take more basic electronic components, which are already there. It'd be kind of nice if maybe you know what? Let's uh let's put the lubricant a little bit further away. We can reuse that line. Go like here. That's one input. You need steel batteries, and then you need your these guys who are going to output. Oops, those were special ones. They're going to put on this sign. Okay, so you guys could then grab two of the components that you need. You'll have electrical engine units. Once we have the lubricant up, you'll have your basic electronic components. Now you just need batteries and steel. You'd run batteries and steel on a line together. And give you an output. Right here. And then before I forget about it, I need the lubricant connection to hopefully reach... Yes, all the way over there. Perfect. And this is going to be where the lubricant goes. The pump. Emptying the lubricant. Is the lubricant feed. This goes away. And the last thing I need to do here then is uh, create the, the mixed line here. Of what? Steel and batteries. Put the steel there and the batteries are down here. We can afford to do a singular line. And look at that, we're at the end of the bus again. Hmm. Steel and batteries. Steel is obviously uh, a bit shy right now. Ooh, that's not good. I keep forgetting that I'm using these everywhere. And they do not play well with mixed lines. And it just converted all of the stuff, even the one that was in my hand, because I dropped it for a second. Stop taking it out of my damn hand, you piece of junk. I need a regular splitter. Enough transistors. Well, 
Why are there no transistors? Because there is no plastic. There's no plastic for probably some reason in particular. A good reason. But, um... We almost have some robots up in the air. We just need to get these electric engines units, which is just the lubricant. That's the only thing we're waiting on. So, I gotta go... You know what it probably is, is that uh, either somehow the heavy oil or the light oil have stopped functioning. That's my guess. Go see if I'm correct. This is where we're making the stuff, and yep, both of them are not going away, and I'm guessing it's what? We ran out of steel, so we can't barrel it up anymore. Yep, sounds about right. Just overabundance of steel, or lack of steel. You are totally fine. Let's grab half your steel. Because you're continuously reusing your, your petroleum barrels, because we're using the petroleum. Give you a bunch more, and then over here, it's also... I don't need this extra silo, the more I think about it. Just throw the steel into here. We have 1800 times 25, about 45,000 oil in storage. It's not bad, and these are full. So, good deal. All right, I'm gonna take a break here. Hopefully we get the plastic going again and uh, We'll start making some lubricant. So, alright, thanks for watching everyone. I'll see you in the next episode. See you soon.